Hey, Tom here from Made by Loop, and I just wanted to share a quick After Effects tip with you. A kind of micro tutorial of a technique that I regularly find useful. It's all about creating triangles in After Effects, both in masks and shape layers. Now it may seem like After Effects doesn't have a dedicated triangle tool in the same way it has a rectangle tool or a circle tool, but it kind of does. It's just a bit hidden and there's an extra step to try and figure it out. Don't worry though, it's super easy. And to demonstrate, let's create a quick triangle mask on this image layer here. Now we could just use the pen tool and draw three points and that's fine. You end up with this sort of uneven triangle and it's a lot nicer if we can just create an equilateral triangle with very little effort. So what we want to do is come up here to the rectangle tool and then click and hold to bring up the submenu. And from this submenu, select the polygon tool here. And this is the important step. When you click and drag to create the polygon mask, what you can actually do is press up or down on the keyboard to add or remove points from the polygon. So while you're still dragging the mask on the layer, press the down key until you get all the way down to the triangle. And there we go. We've just created a nice even triangle with very little effort. It's exactly the same when creating a triangle on shape layers too. So if you add a new shape layer and then use the polygon tool again to click and drag our new shape, after Effects actually remembers the last polygon you draw, so mine is showing as a triangle automatically here. But again, we can use the up and down arrows to add or remove points. In Shape Layers, you can actually edit the number of points down here in the Polystar Path settings after you've created the shape. But in Masks, we don't have that luxury, unfortunately. But there we have it. A nice, quick and simple way to create triangles in After Effects. Hope you enjoyed this little tip. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and visit madebyloop.co.uk for more motion design resources.